What's up, guys? It's your girl, Dawn Shea Hopkins, a.k.a. Raina St. Patrick from Power, a.k.a. Chase from The Detour, and a.k.a. Monica from Orange is the New Black. And I just wanted to give a shout-out to Rock Runner Press. What's going on, guys? It's your man, Big Veg, your Rock about to be an ambassador. Rock Runner Radio, Rock Runner Press, we are your number one networking tool for the media, and you already know what it is, you already know what time it is. It's time for my Rock Arati memoir series where it's that simple, where I tap into the past, present, and future of one's career, and, you know, we gon', we gon', we gon' take it to a different level this time. I'm here with a young actress, young musician, she's doing her thing, she's on power, you know what I mean? She's on Orange is the New Black? Yeah. Orange is the New Black, the, uh, the detour, um... She this Sesame Street, so 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 I'm gonna holler her about Big Bird, you know what I'm saying? Cause I wanted to hook up, cause I never got I, I never got a chance to meet, you know what I'm saying, Big Bird, but she did. But like I said, you gonna peep all of that. So I'm here with Dashay Hopkins. Dashay, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good, you know. Just like you said earlier, off camera, just busy, you know, moving and grooving. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's my second interview today, so I've been all around. Ooh, see, I'm saying she came from a radio show earlier or something like that. Or? Yeah, I came from um, Jack Diller. Shout out to Jack Diller, the party and BS show. Mm. And um, yeah, that was fun. I can't wait till it's all ready and edited and all you guys right. can see it. But yeah, that should be out sometime soon. So shout out to them. You know what I'm saying for you know giving this young girl dope dope talent some some press. You know what I'm saying. So so I, I gave a little bit of introduction and obviously you helped me with it. But give our viewers a little bit more sight on who you are, where you're from, basically the whole mini bio on who Don Shea Hopkins is. All right. Well, um, most of you guys know me as Raina St. Patrick from Power, but I'm also on Orange is New Black. And a fun fact, I had Orange is New Black before I booked Power. Mm. Um, actually, a lot of people don't know that. They think that I had Power before I had Orange is New Black. Mm. But yeah, I was in season two of Orange is New Black and season five. I played Monica Hayes. And if you guys haven't seen it, then I mean... You just, you guys just gotta watch it. But if you should you should know by now. I play Black Cindy's daughter, and that's really fun. And I also play Chase on the Detour. And Chase is really funny, and she's just an interesting character. So make sure you guys go check out the Detour. Watch season one. I'm in season two, but watch season one, then watch season two, so you guys can get a better feel for the show. But yeah, and if you guys don't watch Power, that's hard to explain. It's about. Um, James St. Patrick, he's a nightclub owner. He's also a drug dealer. But overall, he seems like a nice, good guy. He's a master manipulator. Uh, he's a great liar. Um, but um, the show He's a great liar. Yes, he's a really good liar. A lot of people don't know. But um, okay, that's why they call him Ghost. He just pops up everywhere. Uh -huh, and okay, um, okay. it's about, um, I play Randy St. Patrick, his daughter. And the show is just, you guys just got to watch it. Make sure you guys go check right. that out. It's on Stars, but if you guys have the Stars app, you get a seven-day free trial. Make sure you guys download the Stars app. You can watch Power Seasons 1 through 4. You can binge watch it. Mm -hmm. But if you guys already watch it, then you know that this season is pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. Season 4, right? Season 4, yeah. Okay, that's what's up. She's she doing it, man. She's moving and grooving. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. So, 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 you know, my, my, the thing about my web series is I like to take all my viewers you know, from the beginning of how you got into everything. So obviously, like I said earlier, you started with Sesame Street. Mm -hmm. So so how did that whole thing come about? I mean, how did you meet Big Bird? Like, I, like, I never got that connection like you did. Like, like give me give me the 411 on that. Okay, well, all right. So Sesame Street is one of the first shows that I was on. And yeah, acting, right. ever since I could talk, I started talking really early at nine months old. If you guys have seen my previous interviews, then you know that I elaborate on that a lot. Mm -hmm. And I would always point to the TV and tell my mom, like, I wanted to do that. Right. But she didn't think much of it because, again, I was watching, like, Barney, Sesame Street, things like that. She right, just right. thought ABCs, one, two, three. She didn't really think that I wanted to be on TV. Uh -huh. But I was so persistent with it. And then I started saying, I want to be on TV. And I would, like, write my own monologues and scripts. And I would perform them for her and for my family. And she knew that I was serious about it. She just didn't know, like, what how to get me in there, what lane to start, how to do it. And so when I was three, on New Year's Eve, we have this tradition. We still do it to this day. We look each other in the eyes, and we tell each other, like, our goals and mm. ambitions for the next year. And so I was telling her, and I was like, Mommy, I really want to be on TV. How come you don't want me to be on TV? What is it? And she started crying, and I felt bad. And I'm like, why are you crying? And she's like, it's not that. I just don't know what to do. I don't know where to start. Your birthday's in a few months. When you turn four years old, mm. I'll figure out what to do. And that's kind of how I got started. And then and from there on, I was pretty lucky. On my first um, audition for an agent and manager, I got signed all across the board. So thank you. 
um, knock on wood, because a lot of kids, because right. <laughs> it doesn't happen for a lot of people, but I was lucky enough to get signed across the board, first audition for agent and manager, and then um, it was just auditions for multiple TV shows, then Sesame Street came about, then multiple national commercials, yeah, yeah. then Law and Order, SVU, and then everything just fell into play. So, so how long were you with Sesame Street? Well, I was with Sesame Street in, um, up until I was eight, eight and a so half. four years? Yeah. Yeah, four and a half. Four point five. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, how was your experience with Sesame Street? I'm be, being that this was your first, uh, you know, actual TV show you was on. You must. It was, must have been a really dope experience. Yeah, it was really fun, especially like watching it. But then when you're actually on set and right, you see right, it come right, together, right. Yeah. and then you see the puppets, and it was like weird for me because I was like more advanced than other kids, so I knew that they were puppets, and I'd see other kids on set and they're <laughs> crying, and I'm like what are you crying for? It's it's a puppet, right, obviously. Right, 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 and they were right. like, it's not real. I'm like, no, it's acting. You didn't know that? <laughs> and so, um, but that was really fun seeing how it all comes together. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the other characters, I don't, I'm not going to name names or expose anyone, they play a lot of the other big name characters. So right? they usually, they just go from one puppet to another puppet. And it's really interesting seeing everything put together and right, seeing right. them build up the sets. It was just a really fun experience. Yo, shout out to Big Bird, man. <laughs> Never got a chance to meet him. I'm kind of jealous right now, but it's cool. It's a cool jealous. I'm not jealous like I'm hating. That's what's up. Who who who's your favorite uh, who's your favorite puppet on uh, Sesame Street? Ooh, um, Abby and Abby. She was one of the first puppets that I got to work with. And I was the first kid to work with her. So. Right, right, right. That's what's up. Not like to glow or anything. No, but yeah. No, 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 it's part of your life experience. You know what I'm saying? That, that's that's peace. That's what's up. Um, so tell us what happened. So you, you did Sesame Street for four and a half years. What happened at the Sesame Street? What did you, I guess, do from there? What was the next move from there? Commercials, like tons of commercials, mm -hmm. um, national commercials right, right. and things like that. Yeah. Okay, that's what's up. And, then, and then after that, you, you, uh, what was the next show that you, yeah, that you definitely got on after Sesame Street? And then after, of course, the commercials and all that. Okay, well, um, I don't remember the exact order that everything went in. But, um, approximately. Yes, approximately. Yeah. But um, going back to commercials, I did Old Navy. I was with them for a good time. Shout out to Old Navy. I was actually one of the mannequins. And um, oh. in the Old Navy over there, they recently took them out. They still have the mannequins. I was really? Doing, like the two pigtails. You might want to go get them for like just to keep them or something. I wanted to, yeah, yeah. but they got rid of them. Oh. They shipped off to some factory. I don't know where they're. In Japan or something. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> but um, then um, it was Lauren Order SVU. Um, and I'm just trying to think. It was okay. well, 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 how was? Jackie. Nurse Jackie. Right. Then Orange is New Black. Right. Then Power. Then, then the detour. Yeah. So, so how was? Uh, tell us the whole situation. I mean, auditioning is important. I mean, um, you know, getting in front of people, like you know, basically improving situations and all stuff. How is it you auditioning? You know, like give us a little insight on basically auditioning. Period. Well, every audition is so different because right. every casting director is every different. different role. And yeah, and every role is different. Every writer is different because mm. sometimes when you go in and audition, the writer and the director sometimes they're inside of the audition. And they'll critique you, like, if they want you to improv it. Some of them don't want you to improv it. Like, mm. some writers are really touchy-feely about their work, and they want you to, like, stick to the script. And Read the script, period. Some casting directors, mm. they're like, oh, well, the writer, they're kind of like um, a freelancer. They don't mind what you do. You can improv it just as long as you stick to the script. So every audition is different. Mm. Every casting director is different. Every director and writer and producer is different. You just got to go with the feel of the room. And you can't be afraid to ask questions because you don't want to improv. Then they're like, no improv. And you don't don't want to improv yeah, and they're like no we want you to improv so it's good to stick to script the first time then you can ask or it's good to ask before some gyms y'all y'all need to start writing this stuff down or you know that's what it is um you're also a musician as well you're a rapper and singer um talk to us how you got into music well i've always loved music again ever since i could talk i would walk around the house singing and i would write songs but i really didn't take it seriously until i got my first guitar when i was six years old um, Lulu, um, I have to fix, I call my guitar Lulu. Okay. Anyways, yeah. Shout out to Lulu. Uh, Lulu, what up? <laughs> I have to fi fix the pegs on her. She's broken right now, but okay. we're going to fix her up. So. Um, but yeah, when I got Lulu, that's when I first started writing songs and actually taking it seriously. Mm. But again, I still didn't take it that seriously yeah. to where I wanted to do it we as a career. To it a bit yeah, a little bit. But the whole format or whatever. Exactly. But okay. I was mostly like stuck on my acting at that time. Then when I was like 10, I um, actually recorded some songs when I was like 7 and 
8 and 9. I recorded it on Dream, which is on my debut EP 3.2, which is available for download and streaming. It's on Apple Music, iTunes, Tidal, Spotify, Amazon, Google Play. It's everywhere. So make sure you guys go download it, go stream it. And so, yeah, bro, it was all a dream when I was, like, about seven-ish. I, it was, I'm motivated. Not it was all a dream. I'm motivated, but, I mean, I started writing. Yeah, it was yeah, all a dream at the time. time. Yeah, but I recorded I'm Motivated first. Okay. And then I went back to them when I was, like, 11, and um, I just started going back to all the songs that I wrote and just making them my own and um, modernizing them and making them more real to what was going on with me at the time. And then that's kind of how 3.2 came about. And then when I was 12, I was like, Mom, I really want to do this music thing as a career. And Did you say that at the end of that year, the part yeah, of the like goal stay right? End of that year. And then <laughs> I started to get the format, yeah, you know And then what when saying? I was 13, right, right, right. I started yeah. writing more songs, uh, and then I went into recording. Okay, that's what's up. So we, the EP is out now. Yes. So um, when people hear it, what can they expect? Like what type of sound? Like, like you know, like what type of, uh, you know, image? Like what are they going to get from the, from, from the EP when they hear it? Just good vibes, positive vibes. Mm. Um... My first EP, I didn't really have like a set in stone sort of genre that I wanted to do. Of course, it's pop. I'm, I am a pop artist. It's mostly pop. But there's a little bit of hip hop on there. If you guys listen to Talk to Him, it was all a dream. I'm motivated. And it was all a dream was like my homage to New York and to Brooklyn, my love letter to Brooklyn and to New York. So um, that was really fun. But um, every song on there is so different. Like, don't give up. If you're more into pop, you guys will love Don't Give Up. It's really inspiring, and it's about never giving up on your dreams and just continuing to do what you want to do, even if people say no, you you don't give up. Right, right, right. And um, it's just telling my story about how I won't give up and how I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep striving. And then there's um, Not Like Them, and that talks about how I'm not like them. And that I think everyone can just relate to that song because no one's really normal. Like, what is normal? Everyone has their own special life the way they have it. So and, and even 3.2. And on 3.2, a fun fact, the beat that you hear at the beginning of the song and throughout the song is actually my heartbeat. Huh? So, yes. That's what's up. The heartbeat is the tempo, mm -hmm. beats per measure and all that. That's what's up. I like that. So, basically, when people hear your, rec uh, your, your, your the whole record, um, versatile music, different types of vibes, of course, all positive and good. Yes. So, pretty much any, most, most people could relate to, yeah, to, to it. And especially like if you're having a bad day, you listen to that, guaranteed you'll be happy. That's what's up. And once again, I mean, you said it earlier, it's this seamless plug, I, I peeped that. That's cool though. I, I like that. That's promotional. Um, where could people follow it uh, one more time? All right, so you guys can follow me on Instagram at Donshay underscore Hopkins, on Twitter at Donshay H. Everything else is Donshay Hopkins. I'm on Facebook, I'm on YouTube. Not as active on there, but I'm trying to be more active on there for you guys. And um, you guys can check out my website, DonshayHopkins.com. That's D-O-N-S-H-E-A-H-O-P-K-I-N-S, Donshay Hopkins. And, yeah, everything is Donshay Hopkins. Even if you can't find me on Twitter at Donshay H, just type in Donshay Hopkins. I'll pop up. And you can find the EP on the site as well, or? Well, yes. Well, you can find, um, yeah, most of my EP is on my website. But, um, again, if you guys want to download it, stream it, it's available on Apple Music, iTunes, Spotify, Tidal, Google Play, Amazon. It's everywhere. So go download it. Go stream it. Support young artists. Support new artists. Right, right. So, yeah. She's 15, y'all. She's young. She's getting it, man. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. Yo. Woo <laughs> First time I heard her and um. At a DTF radio, I was like, yo, wait a second. I need to I need to connect with her mom and so we can make this connection. You know what I mean? She got some dope, dope joints, man. Um, that's what's up. So let's get back into the whole acting. Um, like you said earlier, you're on Power and a whole bunch of shows, especially Power. Power being one of the biggest TV shows of this time now. Like, like, how was that being on that show? Like, how's the role? I mean, I'm pretty sure me, you know, watching the show, it's the, it's a role that you can relate to. You know what I'm saying? So, so you know what I mean? Tell us about that role. Well, um, I mean, right now, I can relate to her personality. Yeah, um, she, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, but um, the show, I don't know. I mean, I can relate to it somewhat, but not that much. But, um, yeah, Raina, it's very, it's really fun playing Raina, especially mm -hmm. seeing how much she's grown over these past um, three seasons. And this season, season four, she's just grown so much. And um, I love her character. Before, we didn't see Raina as much, like, season one. Um, yeah, we come in and yeah. Well, season one, I'd say that was like a big season for Raina. It was, it was a big season for like every character and every character that was on the show at that time because they were cast. Yeah, they were introducing like um the world to these new characters and to their faces and everything. So season season one was a really good season for Raina. Then season two, we didn't see her as much. Season three, we started seeing her a little bit more. And then season four, we definitely see her and she's figuring out like what her parents are about and why her brother's acting crazy and. 
why her dad went to prison, even though it's something he didn't do. She's still seeing everything kind of come to light. Well, well don't say too much. Yeah, but Cause, if, you cause guys, if you guys right. saw this, will when is this coming out? Like about, about a couple, a couple days. A couple, in a couple coming soon, coming soon. Coming soon, okay, coming soon. Well, if you guys saw episode seven, um, you know that some tea was spilt, like, mm. Mm, like Raina heard some stuff, <laughs> and, and she said some stuff too. So, yeah. Watch out. Yes. <laughs> That's what's up. So, um, if they wanted to see Power once again, how could they get to it? What's up? Okay, well, you guys can catch Power on Stars every Sunday at 9 o'clock if you're old-fashioned. A lot of our old-school fans and our new our fans that we had since Season 1, they love to watch it on Sundays at 9 p.m. Personally, I like watching it when it comes out on 9. But if you guys have the Stars app, you can. if you guys don't have the Stars app, you can download it. You get a seven-day free trial. And at 12.01 on Saturdays, Power drops. They release Power early for you guys. So it's a couple hours early, 12.01. It's really Sunday, but, you know. 12 on 1 and sat on Saturdays. Quote unquote. Yeah, quote unquote. If you guys have the Stars app, you guys can watch it on Saturdays at 1201. And you can see it before everyone else. But don't spoil because I see y'all on Twitter and on Instagram, on Facebook, just spoiling it for people. I mean, cut it out. Cut it out. Yeah, I know what happens. The whole cast knows what happens. And <laughs> it's like now, y'all, you guys got the, you guys see it first before people. You just want to spoil it. Don't spoil power, guys. You guys got to hold off like. I was after everybody else sees it respectfully, you know what I'm saying? Um, but it is what it is. Like you heard her, you know what I mean? Check out the app and get all that download and all that. Um, you've been you've been doing a lot and you've done a lot throughout your whole career. I mean, what's what's next for Dasha Hopkins? Well, um, more music. I'm definitely working on some new music for you guys. I'm trying to get it released like um, the end of summer this fall. So we got another EP yeah. coming or more, more or more singles or some singles. But well, videos, I guess. Singles, videos, okay. then leading up to an album. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm not trying to talk too soon, right, but right, I'm right. just, I'm just saying. Stuff is coming soon. Stuff is coming soon. I'm also writing um, some stuff for you guys. Not only music, because I don't only write music. I also write TV shows and screenplays and movies. Again, I've never been in a movie. I didn't say this said this earlier, but I've never been in a movie. So if anyone's watching out there who wants to put me in your movie, you know, call me, call me up, email us, teamdonshay at gmail.com. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I'm also writing some stuff, screenplays, TV shows. So I'm definitely working on a lot of stuff for you guys. Give me, like, the hardest thing about being an actor right now. Like, what is, like, the hardest thing of achieving? Is it a script? Is it trying to get the role right? Like, what's the hardest thing about being an actor? Oh, hardest thing about being an actor? I'd say um, scheduling. Mm. Especially, like, when people get to know your name more and um, getting out there with, like, Power and then Orange and Detour. A lot of people are getting to know my name, so it's... Things are coming at me left and right, and I'm just trying to catch everything. So scheduling. You're very overwhelmed, I guess. Yeah, but it's a good overwhelming, not a bad overwhelming, a good overwhelming. And you know, I'm glad because without it, I'd be so bored. But um, I mean, scheduling. Twilling your thumbs in, in, in your room or something. Yeah, so scheduling is definitely like one of the hardest parts about being an actor, I'd say. That's what's up. I mean, you know, she's doing it. She's moving and groove. I'm people telling y'all, man. Um, I want you to drop some gems, you know, to, to those that are watching right now. There's a lot of people that's trying to get into your field, if it's acting, if it's being a musician, if it's just trying to get out there, you know what I'm saying, but they're struggling to get themselves out there, they're struggling to perform, you know, they're struggling to get themselves started. What gems can you drop to those that are just looking, to, you know, to get out there as a musician, actor, or just somebody in entertainment? Okay. Well, um, if you want to get out there, put yourselves out there. You can't say you want to be an actor or a singer, perform whatever whatever it is that you want to do, but you're afraid to get out there. I mean, whenever there's an event, make sure you guys go out there, get your name out there. You never know who's going to be there. Network. Yes, network. You never know who might be wa who might be watching you. If you guys don't have an agent or a manager, look for auditions that you guys can get yourself into. Look for open casting calls. Mm. Um, that's really good. But remember, you guys should never have to pay for a casting call or for an agent or manager. That is a scam, and there's a lot of scams out there, and you guys don't know. And you're, you always ask me this on Talk with Don Shay Tuesday. Talk with Don Shay Tuesday is something that I do on my Instagram with my fans every Tuesday. So, yeah, if you guys want to ask me a question. Well, you go live, or you, well, or, or you just drop a video? No, I don't drop a video. I just, like, drop a post, and then I'll have people come. I'll tell people oh, to, like, okay. comment. They comment questions, yeah, then you respond. And I'll respond back. That's really dope. Cool. So, yeah, you should never have to pay for an agent, manager, or an audition. That is a scam. Um, the only thing you should pay for is an acting class. Again, acting classes or classes for whatever it is. 
for whatever it is you want to do, right. dancing, modeling, take classes. To um, learn. Yes, perfect your skills. I mean, you're not going to be perfect. No one is perfect. Right. If you mess up during an audition or a class, don't worry about it. Professionals mess up all the time. I mess up sometimes, so it's okay. It's definitely okay. Don't stress yourself out. Don't worry about little things. Go by the five-by-five five rule. If It's not going to bother you for more than five minutes. Right. They, I mean, if you're not going to remember it in five years, don't let it affect you right, for more right, than right, five right, minutes. Right, right. Yeah, five-by-five five rule. And just keep going for it. You're, you guys aren't going to get everything that you go out for, but that's okay. And sometimes it's not that they didn't like you. You just weren't right for the role. You didn't fit what they were looking for. Move on so to the next role. Yes, move on to the next role. Again, you still got to meet these amazing producers and writers and casting directors, and they might call you in for something else. So keep always keep that in mind. I could imagine them bloopers must be crazy when y'all mess up, man. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty funny. I could imagine. I'm a fact. I'm a. I'm a Google that when I get home. <laughs> but, I don't know. They, tr they try to keep it under wraps. Oh, they, uh, yeah. I'm gonna search anyway on YouTube. Shout out to YouTube.com. Anyway, <laughs> um, all right. So that's what's up. Drop the gems. Um, last couple of words. Any shout outs you wanna do? Um, shout out to Team Don Shane, my team who's here today. Um, Bo Mansion. Um, everyone who's not here. Tiffany, Peter, my mom, she is here. Um, and everyone else on Team Don Shea, Real Estate Smoke, he's on Talk To Him. Talk To Him is a song you can hear on my debut EP, 3.2. Remember, download it, stream it, go do that, like, right now. Right now? Um, right now. We'll, like yesterday? Like yesterday, yeah. Like last we, week. I was going to say last week, you said you beat me, okay. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, yeah, um, and shout out to Jack Thriller. Make sure you guys watch the party and BS show. I'm, I'm on there. Well, I was on there earlier, but it should be out around the same time yeah, this yeah. comes out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, yeah, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Donshay underscore Hopkins. I'll post about everything that's coming up on my Instagram story and on my page. So make sure you guys check me out. And everything else is Donshay Hopkins, and Twitter is at Donshay H. Just follow me, Donshay Hopkins, D-O-N-S-H-E-A-H-O-P-K-I-N-S. She's 15, y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm telling y'all, man, y'all need to take some notes, man. The, the youngin's doing it, man. I'll keep on telling y'all, man. And that's what it is, man. It's your man, Big Veg, your Rockerazzi being ambassador. You already know what it is. You're tuned into the Rockerazzi memoir series where we tap into the past, present, and future of one's career. You already know what it is, man. See y'all later, man. We got more for y'all, DJs, actors, everybody, man. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs>